Hi everyone, Linda Reid, Annabelle. Well, there is that moment in time where you need to unpublish your course. And as part of that process, when you unpublish a course, there's a hidden thing in Thinkific that leads your course landing page live. And we don't want to do that because we obviously don't want to have buttons where people can't click. So what we want to be able to do is create a bit of a 404 landing page style. Now, this is our Navigating Business Summit landing page for 2020. Now, obviously it's not running and it's no longer available. So we've put in a little banner here that says sorry your uh, this course is no longer available we have a, other great learning opportunities and then we've got our course section over here and that basically means that we've got a 404 style for our course landing pages now just so you can see the setup we'll go to the desktop view over here we've used a banner and we've just disabled the buttons on the banner so just showing you exactly what I've done here we've gone through here and we've disabled the button settings so if you look at the headings over here you've got hero image you've got picture in picture You've got size and alignment, um, you've got your social links, and there's the option to disable the button settings. If we go down here to adding button, you can use the buttons or you can get rid of them from there as well. So we, we've just disabled the button settings in here. So we're going to get rid of the other, the call to action and the button down here as well. So I'm just going to delete that little block and make sure that it's not there. So basically what we've done is created a 404 landing page by just making sure that we don't use the um, default button. So we've hidden the, hidden the default buttons over here. So little head up, beautiful being done. The next section that we've used is we've used the opportunity for us to be able to put in categories. Now you can't put in courses, but we've put in categories here. So we're looking at content marketing, uh, profile building, our little categories are all in there from there. Now you could add another section if you wanted to, which could be a contact us session. Session You could add that as well. So you could add a little section in here, a um, little contact field, whatever you wanted to do or free, some frequently asked questions, uh, anything you need to, but I think really we just actually want to keep it as simple as we possibly can, which is a simple little 404 page with our um, categories in there. So there we go. We've done that, baby. So that one's done and we can save that. And now anyone who lands on that landing page link can get in there. Now, if you really wanted to make sure that no one had the link, the other option that I would do is I would go into our course settings over here and I would disable under our options over here or under course settings, I would change our link. So I just make it a private course and a hidden course so no one can enroll, which we know they can't because it's not published anyway, so the buttons are going to go around. Um, but you could change the link and you could change the URL so no one could get access to it. Now, if it was a course where you wanted your people to re-enroll with, then you maybe you could put the option for people to sign up and re-enroll from there. So that would be the only other thing I would do. So, okay, what if we've got more than one course? Because we are going to have more than one course. I know I do. This is our very, very first course that we ran on ThinkyFit. And it's got no landing page at all because it was it was built a little bit differently. And as I said, it's our very first one. But if we go over here to building a landing page, let me show you how you can import the elements and make the same 404 page as you want to. So here we go. Oh, we've got a few details in here. There is a little, little bit of detail. It's just a course curriculum. So what I did, and this is the same process I would do again, is I'm deleting the sections out. So going in here, deleting all the sections out over here getting rid of it so that we don't have anything from our course. We don't have any buttons. We don't have anything that we don't want to have in there. Okay, so after we've deleted all our sections out, we're here at our blank page. Now, if we see this little copy button over here, we can then go and copy the elements over from another landing page. So navigating your business summit, session, summit sessions were the ones that we did over here. Select the sections that I want to bring over. I want to bring over the categories and the smart sections. And I hit add two sections. And there we go, that 404 page is now replicated on another course. And you do that again and again and again uh, for as many courses as you've got, and then you've got that 404. So I would add that to your processes for when you unpublish a course is just to create that little 404 style, save it, and then if anyone has the link, they're not going to come to a page full of buttons that can't work. They'll come through to a page of course opportunities and other further learning opportunities from you that they can find.